Hey everybody, it's Jason with All Star Welding. Have you ever wanted to take your stick welder and turn it into a TIG welder? You can, and I'm going to show you how. It's really simple. You just need a few items and you'll be on your way to TIG welding steel and stainless steel. Okay, so to get this done, <clears throat> all you need is your power source. And today I'm using the Prime Weld MIG 160 TS. But my, my eventual goal is to buy one of those little tiny little lunchbox size little uh, Chinese arc welders because again, the purpose of doing this is portability. If it's anything bigger than this, uh, I'm gonna bring it back to the shop. But <clears throat> in the meantime, we can use this. You can even use the Vulcan Outlaw if you wanted to. Uh, the next thing you need is a TIG torch and you have to make sure that it's, it's the one that's got this valve in it and you see this is a 17 V which means it's a 17 size TIG torch with a valve um, that's real important and a couple of things on this this one I bought at my local uh, welding supply store but you can buy them online if you can, buy one that's got the end already on it. If it doesn't have that, um, there's an adapter you can get. It's called a power lug, and you put it in between your gas line and your tank. And I'll, I'll explain more about that in a little bit. Uh, you're going to need a uh, ground clamp, of course. And d d d depending on... Uh, you're set up with this, you may or may not need your stinger lead for your arc welder. And of course, you're gonna need some filler rod. And since we're doing mild steel today, this is just ER70 uh, filler material. And then I've already got a piece prepped here. We're gonna try to do this uh, lap joint uh, with the TIG. Okay, so this is really easy to hook up, and again, any uh, DC inverter uh, arc welder will work for this. If you've bought the kind of uh, TIG torch that's already got the um, uh, plug on there, then you simply plug that in, and you always want your torch to be on negative. Always on negative. And then you take your ground clamp, we'll go on positive. Okay, so again, your TIG torch is negative, your ground clamp is on positive. And if you don't have the type of TIG torch that's got this built in, then you buy this little thing called a power lug, and I'll try to throw a picture on here. But all you do is, you would take your stinger lead, plug it in to the negative side, and then you connect your power lug onto your gas line, uh, in between your gas line and your tank, and then it has a little tab sticking out on it, and you clamp this onto that tab. And of course, you need a bottle of Argon, and. I went to my welding supply and bought this little tiny little baby tank because again the idea of doing this is to make it portable uh, so that's all I need I don't need my big giant 180 tank from my shop okay when tigging uh, like this uh, there's two ways to start your art uh, one of them is called a stretch start where you actually drag your tungsten on the metal, lift it up just a little bit, and then start going. The other one is called lift TIG. Uh, what I like to do is put the cup on the metal, lean it over to uh, let the tungsten touch the metal, and then lift it up a little bit, and that starts your arc. The way to stop on, on both methods, the only way to stop the arc is when you get to the end, just kind of sweep it up a little bit so it goes out and then make sure you bring it down so the argon will um, uh, cool your pool. Cool the pool. 
All right, so I'm going to try to demonstrate that. Um, so on this torch, I am using a number five cup. A number five cup. So I've got my argon flow set to about 12 to 15 would be good. And then all you do is you open this. Let me see if you can hear this. Did you hear that? That starts the flow of, the, of your argon. And um, I'm using a 330 seconds um, tungsten. I'm using the blue, which is 2% lanthanated. And I'm going to be using a uh, 16th of an inch uh, filler material. Okay, so before I, I actually do the actual weld, I'm just going to do a little spot on here just to show you how we're going to do this. So we're going to turn our, our gas on with our valve. See, it's that easy. Well, that's kind of hard to do with the camera in the way. Can't get it to focus on there, but uh, I tried to do a little weave on there. Uh, I should have had had a little bit more amps flowing there. Okay, so you get the idea. It's uh, super easy. I put a little quick connect on my gas line so that I can quickly stick it on the uh, little tank. And um, again, if you don't have a TIG setup that's got the plug, the uh, dense connector already on it, then you need to get a power lug. Power lugs work just fine, but these are easier, more convenient. Um, and I'm waiting on Amazon to bring me a um, a DENS adapter that will go from the little one to the big one so that I can use it on the Vulcan Outlaw. 
um, again, any DC arc welder can be a TIG welder if you buy the right equipment and it doesn't cost a lot. Thanks for watching. Got any questions? Leave a comment. You know I answer them. And uh, y'all have a good day.